we have not even gone on the demonstration, so mm -hmm. uh, nobody can tell us whether we do have the nose mask or we don't. We do have the sanitizers or we don't. Right. The issue is, in the midst of COVID-19, mm -hmm. we have been through an election mm -hmm. where people were campaigning in masses. You could see gathering to the, to the level that you couldn't even count the people. In the midst of COVID-19, we have seen the funeral that was organized for former President Rollins. We have seen the funeral that was organized recently for Sir John. Everything points to the fact that they do not respect right. their own protocols that they have decided to put down. But they are expecting us to do it. No problem. Give us the chance. Let us do what we want to do and see if we are not law abiding. But you've not. Meanwhile, you're going about doing all those things that you are telling us not to do. Right. And it's just not right. This is a, a pure um, example of trying to make us understand that there is no democracy in this country. Does this make you feel intimidated in any way? Oh, no, 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 no. In actual fact, this really um, motivates us because it is giving a signal to the international community that what we have been fighting for for the past 25 years is still happening. It is still happening. You see, Nanado Danko Akufuado, the president, His Excellency, 25 years ago stated that there was a culture of silence in this country, that former President Rollins, the late, was stopping people from expressing themselves. Whenever you do it, you get arrested. 25 years ago. Now, the same man is doing exactly what he was complaining about. Mm -hmm. So, this is what we want everybody to see. And it is not just seeing. We want to, we want to see changes happening. Mm 